Morning, it's George from JD Landscapes and we've got our very, very first participant in the sandbox. We've got Sean and he works with Luke at Elevate Ponds. And this is gonna be a really cool day because me and Luke are going out and we're doing a job up in Filey and we just thought it'd be a great opportunity for Sean to come in and um, have a bit of a play about where essentially you can't go wrong. <laughs> Yes, baby, that's the money shot. So we're going to talk about what I would do. It's not a test of how good it looks. There's one main component of any water feature, and it has to work. Yeah. The artistry comes in time. And the artistry as well is on the, in the back of the, in the eye of the beholder, right? Yeah. So we're not going to judge or anything like that. It's purely down to it working. I mean, I would personally concentrate just on doing like a little small one like we just discussed um, and looking at using as little rock as possible. There's a tip for you, a little rock as possible, make the water dance through there. And so the main thing is, is by the end of it, does it work? What's your, what are you, what's your feedback? What, what do you think? Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Excited. You excited? Yeah. A bit nervous. Don't be nervous. Don't need to be Don't nervous. nervous. Okay, so it's the end of the day, and uh, me and Luke have just got back, and uh, Sean's been really busy, and I'm actually really impressed. I'm gonna take you over there. We're gonna have a quick chat to Sean. He's not the most talkative on camera, but we'll get some out of him, I'm sure. And we'll also have a chat with Luke. He's the owner of Elevate Ponds, and we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna basically show you what he's got done and see what he's learned. Okay, this is Sean, oh. and uh, this is Sean's creation. Let's check that out. And this is his first one which he's done on his own, and I am mightily impressed. Seriously impressed. I like the way it pinches through there, the different elevation levels. There's no liner on shore around the edges of the pond. I can't see the spillway box because that beautiful bit of wood at the top there. Uh, nice moss work. Hello, JD. So, Mr. Burgess, what are you thinking? Well, I must say, I'm mighty impressed. I was just saying you've taught him well. Well, glad he listens. <laughs> um, but yeah, for someone who was so apprehensive about being left to his own devices, um, I'm very pleasantly surprised. I, if that was in my garden, I'd be very happy. Loving the um, stepped paddle stones. Nothing, no liner showing. Well, a little bit there, but the edges are done. Yeah. Uh, there's no leaks. Uh, the pipe works concealed. The wires. It's the finished product, really, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we've both been round it, and it's absolutely spot on, isn't it? I like it, don't we? You know. Well done. Man, of course, yes, man. Well done. Well done. That well done. Thinks me too much about it. I think. All right. That's all I got here. Uh, it's to best to make it work, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So what have you learned from this? Go all the things in, let the rocks do the work. Mainly. Which is your favourite part? Just to hear it flashed all, how it runs off and down to the next one. On the little jagged edge. Yeah. And it comes down and back. And that little secret bit down there where it comes through. Yeah, I really like that. I also really like the bottom. There's a little bit of a paddle work down here as well where it comes down there. Yeah. And um go around that bark where it comes over. And yeah, over. it just lips over there. I think it's a great job. And uh, this is your first one. You've been taught well, my friend. <laughs>